Hey guys, it is 11.33 p.m. Wednesday, August 12, 2020. Alright, so you asked for it, so you're getting it. This video is a sit down and get to know me video. But first, let me give my warnings. Just so you guys know to... Let me tell you, okay. If I stutter or have to rephrase something, I'm sorry. If I use any profanity, please forgive me. If I say anything offensive towards anyone or anything in any way, shape, or form, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I don't like to offend people. I don't know how long the video will be. And please subscribe if you're new and hit, hit the bell button. And also, I had to wear glasses because I have bad vision. I know it's unrelated to this video because this is just a sit down and chat with me video. But, anyway. Getting right into it. A lot of people have been asking me questions for a long time about who I am. Alright. So, first of all, they want to know my name. That will remain anonymous because I don't think that my name needs to be revealed on here. I feel like everyone who is famous, and I know I'm not famous yet, but I might be in time, who knows. Um, I feel like everyone who is on YouTube or who is famous, or famous because of YouTube, has a right to keep one thing or something private. Let's just say some things private. Some things I meant to say. And my name will be one of them. Um, also, I meant to tell you in my warnings, yes, I know this camera is black. It is just my phone on record aim down because I'm telling you about me. You don't need to see what I look like right now. I mean, I look the same as I did earlier. I didn't even wash my face yet, and I'm about to go do that here in about 10 minutes. Or whenever this video ends. Alright, so. Um. Getting to know me, people want to know when and where I was born. So I want to tell you, I was born on May 13th, 1998, in uh, Beaufort or Beaufort, South Carolina. I have always heard it as Beaufort, South Carolina, but I've also hear, heard, heard, heard people pronounce it Beaufort, South Carolina, so. I say Beaufort, but if you get offended by that, I'm sorry. So there you go, Beaufort, Beaufort, whatever. Um, I was raised there, and I uh, lost my home there when I was 16, and we lived there till I was 17. We lived at an RV resort, and uh, we were trying to get me to finish out my 11th grade year. Before the start of the new school year, my family decided to take my aunt up on her offer, and borrow one of her houses so that I could graduate school. And I did this thing where you could uh, go to school in one area when you were there and go to school in another area when you were there. I don't know what you call that, like part-time. Um, so I did go to school here and there when I was with my dad because there were times where my dad had to keep me half of the year because my family was so busy with stuff. And he said, you need to go to school. And I said, not really, you can homeschool me. He said, no, I need to go to work. So um, I started this when I was in fifth grade, and then I just ended up uh, officially graduating from this school. I went here entirely for senior year. I hated school, but everybody hates school. I mean, not everybody. There are some people who love it. Some people love to learn. There's nothing wrong with that. And that is what I set out to tell people to be true to who they are and love their self, no matter what. Alright, so, um, next question I get asked all the time, am I political? Let's just say I have political sides, uh, political views of both sides. I was raised by Republicans, so I would normally identify as a Republican, but I have grown to know that I have uh, Democratic views as well, so I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I am assigned independent. I have uh, beliefs of both sides. Like, here's a couple of examples. I believe that gay people have rights, and I believe that all ethnicities have rights and are equal in the world. So, I'm just going to leave it at that, and I believe that women and men are equal to each other. But I do draw the line at abortion. I think abortion is a form of murder. Under certain circumstances, you should only be allowed to get an abortion. Personally, that's just me. 
And I don't believe that the rich man should be treated, treated, sorry, treated, treated better than the poor man just because he has more money. It don't mean shit, okay? Um, because money can easily be stripped away from someone. Just like my home and my life in South Carolina was easily stripped away from me. Um... Let's see, uh, am I religious? Yes, I was brought up by a Catholic mother and a Christian father, so I'm not really into the whole organized religion thing. I believe in God and Jesus and heaven and hell and praying. And I know a lot of people are going to say that you're not going to heaven. Okay, well, I don't care what you think. It's up to God to decide. If you are truly of your religion, you would believe that. You would know that you have no right to judge a person for his or her beliefs. I should just say their beliefs, because it makes it easier, their beliefs. Um, what are my passions and my favorite pastimes? Okay, so my passions are meteorology, makeup, and music. And meteorology, makeup, and music are also my favorite pastimes, as well as video gaming and... Playing outside, I love to play outside like a child. I just think that it's been ridiculously hot, I guess because of the hurricanes. Hurricane, hurricanes, I don't know how many there are. I heard of a new one, I don't know. But yeah, um, one of my favorite pastimes also is to collect rock and roll related things, in particular ACDC. I have collected so many items of theirs. I even have a shower curtain that says ACDC on it. It's brand new. Not in the package, but it is brand new. And uh, when I get my own bathroom in our next house, I will definitely use it. Because it is my shower curtain to use. And I'm going to keep it no matter how fucking dirty it gets. So maybe I shouldn't hang it in the shower. Maybe I should put a clear one before it to protect it from me. Um... I also love jewelry, but I think a lot of people do. My favorite preferred color is yellow gold. I love yellow gold. I mean, a lot of people do, but I have a passionate love for yellow gold. Um, I love kitty cats. Kitty cats are my favorite animal. I like dogs, but I don't like love dogs so much that I have to have one. Let's just put it this way. I don't hate dogs, but I certainly don't love them. And the same thing with babies and kids. I don't hate kids, but I don't love them so much that I need to have one of my own or have one around me all the time. But that might change in a couple of years. But also, I would never harm a kid or a dog or a baby. Well, that's still a kid, so I'll just say a kid, alright? I'm not that evil of a person. A lot of people have said, you are evil sounding because uh, you don't want to be around your baby nephew all the time. I don't want to be around him all the time because he screams like a little banshee. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? He just needs to go home and scream like a little banshee in his own house where he's going to grow up. I'm not trying to be a pain in the butt, but it's being honest. Um, people have asked me where, uh, where my dream homes would be and my other favorite countries. Well, I can say this without hesitation, definitely Pensacola, Florida is my dream place to live, like my place to have a beach house maybe, and my hometown obviously, if I could have one of e one in each place I would, but yeah. Um, my other favorite countries are Australia, the Netherlands, Scotland, and Germany. And, uh, probably because I have family there that tell me that they are the greatest countries in the world. And they say, um, we know you as an American might disagree. And I say, well, I agree that there are multiple great countries in the world. And I know a lot of people are going to get really pissed off with, about what I'm, with what I'm about to say. And say I'm retarded because I can't even speak. But say what you want. I'm allowed to speak freely too. Um... 
I believe that there are more than just one great country in the world. There's like 192 or something like that different countries in the world. And you're only going to tell me there's only one great country in the world. I'm sorry, but beg to differ on that. I love America. I'm proud of my country. But I'm also very proud of the other countries that came before us that gave us our land and gave us the people in it. I'm very proud of what they had to sacrifice to do and what people had to do to get here. That's why I respect everybody for who they are. That's why I was raised raised with this thing called respect and morals. Something that some people say that most of these younger generation kids lack nowadays. I know it sounds like I'm directly insulting them. I am not a judgmental person. I would only judge you if you were judging me. And that's the truth. I don't believe in playing that judgmental bullshit game. I'm sorry. Because uh, I was judged throughout school. And I was judged by my friends. And then I realized, you know what? It doesn't matter what other people think of me. Only it matters what I think of me. Because I'm the one that has to love myself. Remember that, people. You are the one that has to love yourself. Not even your family, even no matter what they say, has to approve of what you do. They may think they do because they're your family. I mean, if you think that's what, that way, then that's part of who you are. That's fine. But just remember that you are the only one that has to truly give yourself the love and credit of loving yourself. And with that being said, I'm ending this video and uploading it because... It is 11.45 p.m. And I said everything about myself in this video that you need to know to know me. Also, my favorite colors are red, black, pink, gold, and certain colors of green, and one specific color of blue. It's a very, very specific color. I don't know what it's called, so I'll just say those other colors are it and uh, yellow gold for jewelry, clearly. And black for jewelry also, but mostly yellow gold. Okay, so, still 11.45 p.m. If you're new, like I said, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, hit the bell button, and let me know if there is a comment section. I don't know if they're on or not. I don't know how to turn them on. All right now it's 11.46 p.m. Have a great day. Goodbye. Or whatever time it is when you watch us. I don't know. All right, bye-bye.